We are at the Outfest LGBT Film Festival where Fazia Mirza just shared with us her inspiration behind the new lesbian-focused film, Signature Move. What initially inspired you to write the screenplay for the film, your new film, Signature Move? Um, I am inspired by the people I know in my life, my own experiences and the, the things I see. So the relationship between a Muslim woman and a Mexican woman was inspired by me actually in falling in love with a Mexican woman in the city of Chicago. Uh, she's now my ex, but don't worry, we're still very good friends. And, um, you know, the wrestling was inspired by me being on a late night comedy talk show as a character and seeing a wrestler, a former WWE wrestler, and her performing her signature move and I thought how has feminism included or forgotten about these women who are clearly extremely powerful and um, doing things that I would have no idea how to do so it started as a short film and then based on some wonderful advice by uh, Rolla Selbach and uh, Eugene Park uh, I turned it into a feature with the help of my co-writer Lisa Donato the reason we turned it into a short a, a feature from a short film is um, I was told, or I was asked by some friends, what was the character you want to play? And I said, I want to play Zanab, who's the lead protagonist in Signature Move. So I, I'd never written a feature before, but I worked with an amazing writer, director, creator, Lisa Donato, on her short film, Sugar Hiccup, and we had a really great creative energy. So I called her up and I said, look, there's a deadline for a screenwriting lab in seven days. Do you want to turn my short into a feature together? in seven days and she is crazy enough to say yes so that was our first draft and that kind of launched us into everything else seven days so how much sleep did you get during these seven days we actually slept surprise we slept over those seven days surprisingly enough um probably six to seven hours a night but we both are so creatively um charged by each other that we were ready to get up and and keep it going i would definitely say we were fed a lot of great snacks um, we wrote the film that first draft in la both at my brother's house at the time and at soho house <laughs> so i i thank a beautiful view and soho house for for our first draft as well what was it like playing Zanab? Zanab is a really fun character to play. She's inspired by part of my life, but she's also a character who is an attorney and is smart, but also kind of awkward and imperfect the way most human beings are. She doesn't fit the idea of the model minority that's often seen in a lot of uh, mainstream shows and movies. And, um, you know, it's, it, I'd, I'd never wrestled before, so it was so fun to get to explore that aspect of, of, of something kind of fun and insane and beautiful and the wrestling part was actually you know in some ways creating one of those spaces that is a safe square queer space um, so that was that was a really a great treat for us that's really interesting that you learned that wrestling is a safe place for LGBT people what did you do to prepare to wrestle in this film the good thing about the film is that I don't have to be a really good wrestler. I just have to not die. So one of the things that I did was uh, work out and be sure that my thighs and calves were strong enough not to hurt when I fell. And um, you know, I worked with a trainer and then we had a great stunt coordinator on set, Christian Lidke, and uh, he coordinated all the stunts and all the wrestling moves. And then we had some body doubles as well. So even though I did all the moves, I was never actually slammed down to the ground because I might have died. <laughs> and that would kind of suck to say, well, we can't finish the movie, Fazia's gone. Uh, so really the preparation was being safe, which is kind of a great thing for all of our lives, I think, in all contexts. This is Lily Koo with After Ellen, the pop culture site that's been playing for your team since 2002.